Friends, welcome to this episode of I took this screenshot from the Megalithomania video today, and uh, because it's a very clear face in time. And I've learned through this process of posting and making these videos that some people just don't see these faces very easily. So I, I'm doing my best here today to bring the uh, face in time out for everybody so that they can see exactly what is going on here because it's pretty amazing and if you can't see this face right here then I'm just gonna help you out um, this guy is already here these lines are already here look at this I'm just highlighting the outside of this face um, I started seeing things like this in uh, when I went and did my first visit to Montana megaliths. <clears throat> and in Montana, there's faces all over the place, and I've already done some videos on the Montana megalith faces, and I do uh, encourage you to go check out the other videos on my channel and to like and subscribe. <laughs> because this face right here, super clear. And I'm not sure why it has this little bump right there, but let's just, um, let me just point this out to you that this shape is already here, these lines are already here. The question could be, what are these lines? Why are they here? You know, I just want to look, point out right here, this thing is eroded, it's old, but look at these very square lines. Very square. This looks like underneath all of this, whatever this exterior coating is, which I look like, you know, it looks to me like it's covered with the concrete like it. So here we can see, as we zoomed in a little bit, that there's some some eye right here, and we're just gonna draw in the eye. It's like right there. You know. Again, this line is already here. Look at that. Right here is the eye. And there was probably like some jewels here or something in the past, you know what I'm saying? Like, there was like somebody in here. Made this look really nice. It was painted. Now we're just kind of left with this, you know, what's left here. You know, his, his nose is gone, so something's happened to his nose. But look at his lips right here. These lines again. These lines for the lips, they're already here. Look at his mouth. It's coming down this way. And then, again, here, uh, there's some eyebrow. Uh, do you guys see the eyebrow? Right here is the eyebrow. These lines are already here, they're just super faded. And, I mean, for some, somehow the proportions are out of whack, right? Like, we're, we're not having the right proportions here. Because his nose is gone. Something happened to his nose. What do you guys think happened to his nose? You think maybe there was a big flood in this area in the past and something came in and, and his nose got ruined? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Because um, we don't really know what happened to these people. I don't know what happened to them. Were they redheads? Who knows? 
Let me get this. I mean, I'm just having fun with it now because I don't really know. In fact, what it really looks like is that he had some black hair and it was long and it probably came down here and it was probably represented by this lichen that's right here. So, what do you guys think? Is this was this a face? Did somebody carve this into a face in the past? Was there many faces carved into this hillside in the past? Did this have decorations and jewels? <clears throat> On the face of this of this person? I mean, we don't really know. What happened? Where did they go? Who were who even were these people here? Were they even human? Were they Neanderthals? Were they some other form of life that came and stayed here or on this planet for a short time and you know enjoyed our women as so many stories seem to show from the past. I'm not an expert on these things by any any means, but I do seem to see these faces. And I feel motivated to call attention to them because to me they're very obvious. What do you think?